and we are underway. Championship Sunday in the CAA. Glad you're with us here on Comcast Sportsnet. So much of his offense does run through Lauren Jimenez inside. A backdoor look, Parker, another one for Danielle Parker. I think she needs to just keep moving the ball around, let her teammates help her. This is Courtney Hamner, and rattles home a three. Long three for Evans, yes! A good start for JMU, here's Evans again, rattles in another three. Number two, working her way to the hole, tip back out, and she grabbed the rebound. Lauren Carra buries a three. This lip will clean that up and give it to Dawn Evans. Working on Danielle Parker, stops and pops. She's done a great job in her senior year. Two for two from behind the arc for Courtney Hamner and the first bucket for Elena Delanon. She's got a lot of uh, non-family members, fans as well. And a great strip right there on McLean. Jocelyn Bailey now against Hamner. Danielle Parker with a short jumper. Evans against McLean into Jimenez. And Tina Martin needs a timeout. Their matchup D, they've got to really make sure they're out. And with Deladon guarding Evans now on that far side, Courtney Hamner says, fine, you're going to guard Deladon. Deladon's going to guard her. I'm going to hit him from the right side. Still trying to shake her way free. Cross court for Hamner. One more for Nikki Newman. That's picked off by Lauren Carra. She's triple team. Still puts it up. Almost got it. And that's the way the first half ends. And right now, 35-27 is the score. And she is ready to bring it for another 20 minutes. She's got two personal fouls as Danielle Parker is blocked by Jimenez, but got it back and scored. Who's come to the Delaware lineup. She almost traveled. McLean with three to shoot. Deladon, the stick back, beats the buzzer. Hamner trying to get something off the dribble. Good look for Evans. Got it. Surrounding Deladon every time she touches the basketball. Staying in the 2 3 match. Very nicely done. Outside, inside. Getting called that. That's not going to be called a moving screen. Deladon got that one down. She had been four of five before those two misses. Wow. <laughs> Courtney Hamner says, all right, you leave me wide open, I'll make you pay. Well, at that point, they had taken 18 threes. That was a 6-3 by Delaware. <laughs> and add to the mix, Don Evans. So back-to-back -back threes. She had an accidental collision to the face of Courtney Hamner. Wide open is Jimenez. She's flashed out on, continues to drive, and a perfect pass to Lauren Jimenez. And that will do it. Back to the NCAA tournament. Back-to-back -to -back CAA championships for Kenny Brooks and the Lady Dukes of James Madison University. Yeah, guys, I guess this building never gets old celebrating the CAA championships. Got to feel good again. Oh, yeah, it feels great. It feels great. Get your shirt. <laughs> I know, you know. Um, it, it feels good, you know. Me and, our, me and my team, we work extremely hard, you know, with the coaching staff. And to go out as a senior with two back-to-back -back wins, it's no other feeling like it. I mean, it's, it's overwhelming right now. So I'm just really happy for me and my girls and my coaching staff because I feel like we really deserve it. And it was really a, a true team effort. We talked about the shooting early, Hamner and some shots. Jimenez so big on the boards. Your defense on Della Dunn. Funny how scores get their average, but you made it work for it, and you guys get it as a team win. Yeah, we did. And Dawn gets a lot of the accolades, but she'll be the first one to tell you that we're a team. And she loves giving the basketball up, so much so that I have to get after her to shoot more because she's such a prolific scorer. But we did a great job opening it up. Courtney Hamner will hit some timely shots for us. Jimenez stuck with it. It's a total team effort, and we're, and we're a good team when we do that. So very proud of this senior group. You know, they've been wonderful for this university, and for them to go out like this, there's no better feeling for me as a coach. Now, do you care where you go for the tournament? It'd be nice to go to UVA right there. We know we have a great fan base. Look at all of them over there. So it'd be nice to play at UVA and have a good fan base, but wherever we go, we're going to compete. Well, congratulations to both you guys again. I'll let you go celebrate. Awesome, awesome accomplishment. Back to you guys.